and he works in an electronic appliance store. He's 40 years old and still doesn't have a family. What's the big deal? He doesn't even really have any friends, but he does have an expensive toy collection. His work partner named Call is always bragging about how cool and fun his weekends are. But Andy, unfortunately, can't brag about the same, because every weekend is spent alone at home. One day the guys from work are going to play poker. They decide to invite Andy, and he immediately agrees. The guys think that Andy will be easy prey, but it turns out that he plays poker wonderfully and calmly beats the guys. During the game, the guys start bragging about their exploits in the bedroom. But when it comes to Andy, he starts looking silly, because he's still a virgin. When the guys realize this, they start making fun of him. Even though Andy tried to deny everything, there was no way to change the minds of his co-workers. The next day, when Andy comes to work, at first he thinks everything is as usual, but then he realizes that his little problem is known by all the staff, including the store manager named Paula. Andy burns with shame and runs away. A guy named David catches up with him and apologizes for the guy's behavior. He asks how it is that he is still a virgin, and then Indy explains that at one time he was inexperienced and made stupid mistakes that scared girls away. And as time went on, he became more and more nervous, after which he just stopped trying. David says they want to help him, so he invites him to go to the club with them. There, a guy named Jake convinces Andy to try to pick up a drunk girl, but after a couple of failed attempts, the company joins the bachelorette party. A girl named Nikki pays attention to Andy and suggests he go to her house. On the way, they almost get into an accident a few times, and when they arrive, some people start crying, and then he all vomits right in his face. After that, of course, he goes home. The next day, when he arrives, who meets a middle-aged woman named Trish. Andy helps her pick out the right product, and she gives him her phone number in return, and tells him that she works at the store across the street. In the evening, the company goes to a bar to celebrate Andy's success. After all, the woman herself gave him her phone number and hinted at a meeting. Although the guys advise him to get the experience first before asking Trish out, the next morning, Andy decides to call Trish after all, but when she picks up the phone, the man freaks out and drops the call. At work, Jay tells Andy that he needs to take care of himself and clean up periodically. They go to a beauty salon, where Andy agrees to get a chest depilation, but when he realizes how much it hurts, he just goes home. After completing the procedure the next day, Kyle tells Andy that the depilation was a stupid idea and that it doesn't matter what he looks like, because girls need to be entertained by conversation. On Kyle's advice, Andy goes to the bookstores and starts flirting with a sales girl. Oddly enough, it goes very well and Andy gains confidence. In the evening, he tries to call Trish again, but this time he loses his temper and pretends to be the manager of the TV store, then just hangs up. Then David comes to him and gives him his collection of adult movies. Andy was against this gift at first, but then he lit the candles and turned on the movie. However, he quickly realized that he didn't like the whole thing and turned it off in a hurry. Paula suggests that Andy is fooling everyone and he's not really a virgin. She says that he has a great body and that she doesn't mind making love to him. During lunch, the guys grab Andy and go on a speed dating session with him. But unfortunately, it goes so badly that Andy gets upset and asks his friends to leave him alone. However, the guys aren't going to back down, they decide to help him further and invite him to a new party to be held in a hotel room. When Andy gets there, he realizes that his friends have ordered him a girl for money, who in fact turns out to be not a woman but a man. Andy is so angry at his friends that he decides to take action himself. He goes to Trisha's store and asks her out on a date. In the evening, they call each other and make a deal. She will come and pick him up in an hour. Kale and David realize that this is actually a problem, for when she sees his toy collection, she will think Andy is not serious. They hide the toys. But when Trish arrives, she is more embarrassed by the empty apartment. The date goes quite well, and here they are at Trish's house and getting ready for the most important thing of all. While the woman goes to the bathroom, Andy tries to learn how to use contraceptives. But at that moment, Trish's oldest daughter comes home with her boyfriend. A very awkward situation ensues, and Andy comes home again. At work, Paula praises Andy for his progress and offers to help him solve his little problem. 
Andy pretends not to understand what is being discussed and blends into the conversation. His friends, however, recommend that he tell Trish that he is a virgin. Andy first agrees with them, but on their next date, the woman first apologizes for what happened, and then tells them that she actually has three children and one granddaughter. She also says that they should refrain from intimacy for a while and get to know each other better. Andy is thrilled with the suggestion and happily agrees. Back at her house, he meets her children and makes a good impression, showing the younger ones tricks and trying to communicate on the same page as the older ones. Paula promotes Andy to senior manager. When she finds out about his new girlfriend and that he is still a virgin, she tells him that her door is always open and she is happy to help him. Several dates go by. Andy and Trish get along just fine. He even tells her that he dreams of opening his own electrical store, but unfortunately, he doesn't have the money for it. Then Trish offers to sell him an expensive toy collection and even agrees to help sell the goods in his store. One day when he arrives at Trish's house, he sees her eldest daughter named Marla fighting with her mother over her mother forbidding her to sleep with the boy the girl is in love with. Andy takes Marla and goes with her to a family planning clinic where a psychologist talks to teenagers about adult topics. There, too, Andy gets the experience. And then, to encourage Marla, admits to everyone that he is a virgin. On the way home, the girl thanks him for his honesty and in return he asks him to tell his mother nothing. At work, Jay tells his friends that he is about to become a father and invites everyone to a party to celebrate. But before he goes to it, Andy visits Trish, who tells him that his toy collection could be worth a huge amount of money. She also tells him that a lot of dating has gone on and it's time for them to take it to the next level. But it turns out Andy wasn't ready for this development. Trish doesn't understand why he refuses to sleep with her, causing them to have an argument. He also doesn't think the woman is trying to change him too quickly. And when he accidentally calls her grandmother, she takes offense and kicks him out of the house for parties at Jay's and he gets drunk and flirts with a book star clerk, then goes to her house. Meanwhile, Marlowe convinces only to talk to Andy and try to make up with him. The man himself is already in the bathroom with another girl but then he suddenly realizes that this is not what he wants. He goes home, where he meets Only, who finds a collection of adult movies. She also finds other things that make her think he is some kind of pervert. Andy confesses that he loves her, but the woman thinks he wants to kill her. She runs out of the house and gets in her car, and Andy goes after her on his bicycle. The chase ends quickly as Andy gets into an accident. When Trish rushes to his aid, he justifies his behavior by saying that he is actually a virgin and was just afraid of intimacy. Trish says it's all silly and even wonderful news they confess their love for each other and kiss. Some time passes. Andy does sell his toys and gets half a million dollars for the collection. This money is enough to play a fancy wedding and open a small store. Immediately after the wedding they go to a hotel where Andy finally loses his virginity for 40 years. The end of the movie. That's all, write your opinion in the comments if you liked the movie. Also check out the recommended videos that came up on your screens, they are very interesting too. See you soon, bye.